As an atheist, you might feel very okay about your life right now. Not really, I'm kind of stuck in a vortex right now, and occasionally I keep turning into an adorable cartoon with the body of a ten-year-old. Um, I guess all I'm trying to say is I don't really feel very in control of things right now. You might say, well, you know, I can uh, just believe in what I want to believe, and it doesn't matter at all. Well, no, I can't really control what I believe just like that. I, I kind of believe what I believe, even if I try or pretend to believe something else. There's no God, you might say. Well, yeah, but the only reason I'd say that is because I'm controlled by the Illuminati. When you die, there's no more control. No more control? You're no longer in control. Oh, so I'm no longer in control. But like I said, I'm already not in control. And then you have to go where your destiny takes you, and even if you don't want to go, you have to go. How's that any different before you die? I mean, you're never really in control in any sort of ultimate sense. You might have big plans, but the world around you and the laws of physics are gonna take precedence and change those plans. That's the problem. Lacking control doesn't really seem like a problem, I mean, it's sort of just how things are. Besides, it keeps things interesting. You might be in control now. No, I'm not in control. I mean, I don't believe in free will. As a matter of fact, I believe there is no free will. In any sort of ultimate sense, I mean, not in the sort of illusory or emergent sense that some people mean it. And I can't just start believing in it just because you tell me I have it. You don't have that kind of control over me either. Because God has given us choice. Well, he did a pretty piss-poor job of it then, since our brains are still controlled by the laws of physics. We feel in control of our destiny right now. Well, lucky you then! I sure wish I felt like I was in control, but... I can't just choose to feel it. The thing is, once you die, there's no more control. No more control than no control? Sounds about right. You've got no more choice in where you're going. That's true. All the control in where I'm going after I die rests with the worms that eat me where I lay and shit me out somewhere else. I really don't have any say in the matter. You have to go where you are to go. No more choice. So in the future, I have to do what I do in the future. Well, yeah, but that's a tautology. It's kind of so obvious that it's pointless to even say it. If what I do in the future isn't what I do in the future, then it's not what I do in the future. Why would I expect to be able to control the logical absolutes? You might kick and you might scream, but you have to go. And whether I have control or not, if in the future I kick and scream and go, I have to kick and scream and go in the future. What happens is what happens. A equals A. Nobody has enough control to change that. It's all well and good to be an atheist while we're living, because... It's easy. It's not really inherently easier or harder than any other position. But my sincere beliefs aren't controlled by how easy or hard they make my life. I just kind of have them. But then you die, and you go where you are forced to go. Well, I thought God was supposed to be in control kind of at all times and all places, so I'm not really understanding the difference. You see, once we die, then we cross over into the unknown. What exactly do you mean by we cross over into the unknown? Would you mind rephrasing that for control? I mean, clarity? Into no longer being in control. Oh, I see. So the unknown is the same thing as not being in control. You will lose all control once you die. Wait, 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 wait. I'll lose all control? <sighs> I'm glad you clarified that. See, I thought you meant I'd lose all control minus one control. But now that I know you mean all control, I'm definitely going to exercise that total control I have over my sincerely held beliefs and change them on a whim. And if you start going to hell, even if you didn't believe in it in this life, but you still start going there after you die because you're without God, then you've got no control there either. Is hell part of this unknown no control zone? If so, you seem suspiciously knowledgeable about the unknown. You end up in hell. You've got no control. No problem. Like I said, I'm used to having no control. It's all over. No more choosing your destiny. You chose it. If I didn't even believe the thing existed, then I didn't choose it. It's not a real choice if you don't even understand the options. And if you think option B is just a myth, but it's actually real, then you don't understand it. Doesn't this god of yours have enough control over the scenario that he apparently created to make it clear to the people he created it for? Or is he just a petty dictator like the ones on Earth who deliberately confuse the people and then punish them for their confusion just to maintain their control? It's easy to be an atheist now, but it's not easy once you die. 
because then you are no longer in control. No, no, I would argue that the reason it's hard to be an atheist when you're dead is because, control or no control, it doesn't really make sense to talk about what a rotting pile of organic goop in the ground believes or doesn't believe. And you can say, ah, oh, there's no god until you're blue in the face right now. There's no god until you're blue in the face. But when you die, you are out of being in control. Oh shit, thanks for the reminder, man. Hey, Ezet, when you're at the store, could you pick up a bag of being in control? I used the last of it on the feeling in charge pizza. You can say there's no Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter. Because after death, you're no longer in control. Oh, okay, I think I got it. So what you're saying is that after death, I'm fully in control. Is that right? Then you start finding out the truth when it's too late. See, I love the honesty, man. You're perfectly aware that even if what you say is the truth, we aren't actually aware that it's the truth. We're fallible beings and we just don't understand. And God must know that we're sincerely ignorant, which means if he were just, he would just show us the truth after we die and present us with a free choice based on an understanding of the options, which is obviously necessary for any real choice. But you're perfectly happy to say that although he does show us the truth after we die, he doesn't give us any chance at all to make an informed choice because hey, we already made our choice based on total ignorance of what the options were or even of having made a choice at all. And then he takes control and he chucks us into hell. This creature that your imagination has conjured up is truly bizarre. But I guess you don't really control your fever dreams. Control, control.